Alright, my friend, we are out here on Linfield. Kind of overview here of the place. Little beat up. The driveway is lifted considerably from these roots right here. good shape. Our sidewalk as well has been lifted. Looks like somebody poured a little bit of new concrete once upon a time. It's all been lifted. It's all settled. There. Your siding doesn't look terrible. Um, you can tell the gutters have been overflowing. But this is all kind of typical of a rental property. Now walking inside, you are almost overwhelmed with the smell of the pets that they had in here. Um, your windows are fine. They're all two pane vinyls. Carpet would probably be smart to replace. Now, everything we're talking about is if you were going to go after maximum value here. all the carpet is stained it's dirty it's wrinkling up in places and pulling away and we'll go head down that way here shortly let's go thermostat so your baseboard heaters if you were going after maximum value and I'd replace every one of them every one of them is rusted and beat up um, so it's pretty uh it's about time for those to be switched out it looks like this is the vinyl flooring in here. Um, you do have what looks like a leak. You can see the watermarks, and that's all soft there. I you know, was um, pushing on with my finger just a little bit. This was like this when I got here. Cabinets aren't bad. Over appliances in here. Baseboard heater should probably be replaced. Looks like you have a 220 hanging out there. Just kind of hanging out for no reason. There's your breaker box, so that at least that is mildly up to date. There's your laundry room. Water heater looks fine. Um, your washer box is fine. It can be trimmed out to make it prettier, but it's it's fine as it sits for now. But again, we're going to kind of take a look at this and figure out if we want to put the money into it. Or honestly, with the condition that it's in, if you were going to leave it as is, um, you're looking for an investor. Because really, it's not in terrible, terrible, terrible shape. Um, it's about the condition of um, a foreclosure that might have been already cleaned out. One of the downsides you're going to have here is limited yard space. Um, you do back up to the walking trails, which is nice, and you've got the common area there, which is really nice too. Your deck, I don't know if you can see it from the video, but it's got a pretty significant bow in the middle of it, and you don't have any railing anywhere around it. Sell this really. This is this is a perfect first time home buyer house. First time home buyers normally, a lot of times, anyway, they're going to be using FHA or sometimes VA financing. We want to see, um, we want to see railing around that deck. Now it's a three dimensional roof up here, and it didn't look bad from the street, but you may have one of your plumbing vents leaking or your roof vent there might be leaking causing the damage we saw in the kitchen your meter is up to date with the digital your cable box your crawl space access there the inspector though is probably not gonna like that 
beam. I don't know if that's 100% proper or not. Um, put it in the spectrum and let you know for sure. Go back here and check out the bedrooms and the bathroom. Here's the first bedroom. And a lot of these heaters are just rusted out as can be. Um, you don't have central air in the house, so that's kind of a mark against us. Um, flooring in the bathroom obviously needs to be. Replace. I don't know what was going on here. Looks like somebody took out a vanity and put in a vanity and didn't do any of the cosmetics that go along with uh, taking out a vanity and putting in a vanity. It's a newer fiberglass wrap. Not brand new, but it hasn't been here terribly long. But you can see a lot of the water damage. Walking around the house as well, I notice a lot of there's another heater there. Oh, the, uh, some of the baseboards are missing. Not a huge, huge deal, but as you can see here, not missing, but they don't match. closet there. I mean, as far as cleanliness and how the tenant left it, if they left it like this, kudos to them. They left it relatively clean. I would hope that they had some type of a deposit for whatever animals they had in here. I mean, every one of your, every one of your baseboard here is this pretty, pretty beat up. And really, to get that maximum value, you would want to see um, forced air, heat, and central air conditioning in the house. Not to say you can't put some money into it to uh, get a good value out of it. Overall, and I, I didn't crawl into the crawl space, but overall it's not in bad shape. Structurally, it's not leaning, it's not sinking, it doesn't feel uneven. It's not in terrible shape, but all of the cosmetics need to be updated. Um, well, it's that guy there, and, you know, your baseboard heater situation. All in all, it's not a bad house. All right, I'll get this uploaded and sent over to you.